and here to assist me, of course, is the award-winning team from Harcourts, Judd White. We've got a lot of agents here, but I really want to mention, of course, your marketing, your listing agents, Steve and Vassal, who've done an amazing job to, together to get this competition here today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got any questions at any time, feel free to ask any of our staff, even during the auction. Firstly, we'll be reading parts of the contract as required by the REIV. I'll give you a brief description of this amazing property that we have on offer today. And then finally, call for your competitive bidding. The contracts you may have obtained throughout the campaign or even seen right here today, right here in our open inspection, are your standard contracts of sale prepared by the vendor solicitor. The section 32, more commonly known as the vendor statement, is in fact contained in these contracts. I don't propose to read through it all, but there are some points I do need to highlight. The contract reads as follows. The vendor sells the property. The purchaser buys the property, being the land and the goods for the price and on the conditions set out in the contracts. Pages 8 to 18 are your general conditions again, which are standard to all contracts of sale. Again, I don't propose to read through it all. But as a proud member of the REIV, today's auction will be conducted in accordance with the Land and Sale Act 2014 and also any additional conditions that were made available before commencing our auction here today. Buyers, can I just get your attention please while I go through the auction rules with you. As your auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders on request. As the auctioneer, I may make one or more bids on behalf of our owners. If I do this, guys, I'll be very clear. I'll use the two words, vendor bid. Only I, as your auctioneer, can in fact make a vendor bid. Ladies and gentlemen, the law does prohibit three things. There's no false bids, no major disruptions by bidders, and no bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding. And the law does provide fines for this conduct. I'll be calling the property once, twice, three times. As the contract hits my hand, I cannot take any late bids. Guys, if you are here to purchase, we urge you and encourage you to bid quickly. Bid with confidence. Our owners are certainly here to sell, ladies and gentlemen. And again, I'll remind you, I cannot take any late bids once the hammer has fallen. Well, what an opportunity. Our owners here have got a very, very realistic reserve price. Again, extremely motivated to sell. And we hope to see a buyer right here in front of this board with a sold sticker, ladies and gentlemen. Again, hopefully that gives you all very much confidence, again, to bid and bid strong. And we wish all our bidders here today the very, very best of luck. That's the contract and the vendor statement, guys. It's a long statement of course but in fact a straightforward cash contract provided for 10 percent to be paid today and the balance in 30 45 up to 60 days unless you've spoken to Stephen with another date of course but that's what we're hoping for here today again with 10 percent deposit on the fall of the hammer and as with all auctions across victoria may we just remind you that there is no three-day cooling off period when you purchase at auction again here in the state of victoria ladies and gentlemen before we get into a spirited bidding, let's walk through this beautiful home one last time. The soon as, as you walk through this home, there's this sense of quality, high ceilings, beautiful timber floors, exactly what we all want when we see a townhouse. You've got that master bedroom downstairs, of course, with that two-way bathroom. The home is only just near new, ladies and gentlemen, and you get a sense of that when you walk in. The bathrooms are designer. The home's architecturally built. My favourite part of the home is that big, beautiful, open plan. The kitchen, there has been no spare, no spent, no cent spared on this wonderful kitchen. There was a bit of a tongue twister, that one. No cent spared on this kitchen. All beautiful, like sliding drawers. Ladies and gentlemen, you won't have to get low to open up any of these cupboards. It's all beautiful sliding drawers. The big waterfall, big island bench, of course, is there. Wonderful products as well and appliances in that kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's everything that you need and will suit any master chef, of course, right here today. It's that big open plan, of course, you've got that laundry taking you through to that single garage as well, internal access, and of course, even that dining space, that separate dining space as well, which you can use for other reasons as well. Ladies and gentlemen, upstairs, it just gets even better. Three big bedrooms, of course, sharing that beautiful big bathroom with that designer tub. It's all high end. It's all top quality, ladies and gentlemen, in this amazing home. There's plenty of mod cons, air conditioning, of course, heating, even ducted vacuum as well, all through the property, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you can need to keep you comfortable all year round. Outdoor entertaining, 
even better, ladies and gentlemen, that's got that beautiful alfresco area in front of those beautiful landscape gardens, ladies and gentlemen. Is there anything else that you want when you're purchasing a property? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opportunity to get into this amazingly held neighbourhood of Clayton. Everything is at your doorstep. Wonderful schools, Monash University, Monash Medical, the Children's Monash, Monash Children's Hospital all around the corner as well and everything exciting and all those culinary delights right here on Clayton Road and the beautiful strip there as well. What an opportunity. This is your, this is your chance to get in. Ladies and gentlemen, you've all been through the home. Where can we see an opening start? At 900, there we go. Best of luck to our opening bidders. At 900 now is the call. At 950, welcome in, guys. Best of luck to the family. At 950 now we have. At 950 now, 1 million if you like. At 950 now is the call. At 950 now, first call. At 950, second call. At 950, third. Final calls. Nine, nine, can we say 975, sir? Is that what you said? Nine, uh, you said 960? 60 here as well. So I'll take you 960. Welcome in, sir, at 960. 80 straight down. At 960, best of luck, 80 we have. At 980 now. 990. 990, welcome in, guys, at 990. 1 million now is the call. The bids are coming fast and strong now. $1 million we have. At $1 million, five strong bidders. 10 over here. Million and 10, sir, sorry. Would you like... 20, 30, I'll come back to you sir, 30 now, at 30 now, 50 is the call, at a million of 50, 60, at 60 now we have, at 60 now, one million and 60 is the call. Yeah, that was fast and furious bidding now. One million and sixty we have. At a million and sixty-five bidders now, all live. This is your opportunity now, guys. At one million and sixty we have. At one million and sixty first call. At one million and sixty second call. At one million and sixty third and final calls now. Million and sixty-five. Welcome back in now. Five will keep going. I'll take 70, 70 now we have. At seventy-five. At seventy-five now, eighty if you like, they're shaking their heads. Looks like it might be yours. At a million at seventy-five now, we have. At a million and seventy-five now, fairly bit it offered now. One million and seventy-five looking for eighty. At one million and seventy-five now, who's here to buy? At one million and seventy-five now, final calls. At one million and seventy-five. First call at a million and seventy-five. Second call at a million and seventy-five thousand dollars. Third and final calls now. We all done. Silent and finished at a million and seventy-five thousand. Guys, how are we going back there? Our initial bidders. You guys want to jump back in? At a million and seventy-five. At a million and seventy-five, guys. Eighty. Don't lose it now for 5,000. Have a good think about it. Million and 75 now. The boys are pretty excited. Ladies and gentlemen, on the market and selling at a million and 75. 80, I thought so now. 85. They're straight back in. They're relentless. They're not showing any weakness. At 1 million and 85 now. First call, second call, third, and final calls now. Guys, put the stuff down and go for help you buyers. 1 million and 85, guys, 90 if you like. 1 million and 85,000 dollars here. Thanks for your patience, guys. Just making sure at a million and 85. Anna, how your buyers going over there? Julie, let me know now. We've got to be quick. At a million and 85, still right here on my right. Fairly better off it. At 1 million and 85, now 90 if you want, guys. At 1 million and 85, I've got to call it three times now. First call at a million and 85. Second call. Third and final calls now. Are we all done? We all silent? We all finished at a million and eighty-five thousand. Julie, how are your buyers going there? Yes or no? Permission to sell? Ron, permission to sell, how are we going? Guys, give me one thousand. Give it a shot. At a million and eighty-five now, final calls. At 
Okay, thank you guys. It looks like you're, you're, you're done there. At a million and 85,000, Julie, any, anything there? Let me know. Get ready to celebrate over here at a million and $85,000 now. First, second, third, and final calls now. Done, silence, and finished. Oh, that was, that was, Julie, you've got to let me know right now. Permission to sell, guys. Otherwise, give me a bid. Million and 85 final calls. Julie, need to know right now. Ladies and gentlemen, at 1,085,000, final calls. Three, two, one. Welcome to the neighborhood, guys. Sold. A big congratulations to our winning bidders over here. A big sorry, of course, to our underbidders. We will find you another home, hopefully. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending another successful Harcourt's Judd White Auction. Thank you.